What's going on guys? Welcome to today's training. Today I'm going to show you exactly how you can rank and launch your Amazon products to page one using Facebook chatbots. Now uh, this is going to be a super, comp a super simple, super comprehensive uh, journey through the software tool that I use which is called ManyChat and in this tool I'm going to show you how you can launch your products uh, yourself. Now I will say I do have a company. It's a team of me and four other people. Uh, the company is called Zonrush.co. There should be a link in the description. We will actually do this entire process for you. Uh, that way you save on landing page costs, email software costs, creating the funnels, creating all the ads, uh, the software costs for the various different chatbot services that are out there. We do all this for you and make it super easy for you to focus on growing your business while you leave the sales up to us. Um, so you can check that out, but meanwhile, let's go ahead and dig into the actual training itself. So right now I'm logged into my dummy account. And so all you're going to have to do is create an account with ManyChat if you'd like. Uh, I think it's $10. There's a few other tools that you can use out there that range from $10 all the way up to $100. Um, just for the sake of this training, uh, we love this one. So this one's only $10 a month. And now let me show you how to actually set this up. So you're going to go to growth tools and once you're on growth tools, it's going to be, you're going to go ahead and click this icon here that says new growth tool and you're going to scroll down here. Um, at Zonrush, we literally utilize all of these um, different objectives, all these widgets. Um, they all serve their own purpose. Um, but again, for the sake of this training, I'm going to show you how to set up a super simple JSON ad. That way, if you want to start testing the waters yourself using messenger ads, you'll be able to do that with um, this setup here. So go ahead and click on Facebook ads, JSON. And once you click on that, um, you're going to actually go into the flow to create your, um, you know, your chatbot funnel. So uh, you can name this whatever you want up here. So you can do test um, launch and then go ahead and save that. And now you can actually go ahead and dig into the funnel. So go ahead and click on edit. And right here, you're going to want to keep this very first message super simple and straight to the point. Um, so the purpose of this is to really get the customer to engage in a reply to you. So the shorter the message, the better. And there has to be a sense of urgency to get them to um, take you up on replying to your message because when they reply to your message they're now on the second part of your flow they've officially subscribed to your bot so here if you're gonna launch a product or you wanna boost some sales and you know you kinda wanna test the waters yourself just make it super simple it can't have their first name uh, on the very first message so you can see, say something general like hey there um, thank you for showing interest in our product would you like a 50% off discount code today? And you know, people like to see emojis, so you just throw a little smiley face in there. Um, and that's basically how you're gonna set up this very first message. So you'll say, hey there, thank you for showing interest in our products. Um, I usually add an image here too, so all you have to do is click image and then upload the image you want, and it'll drag up there. And see, the, this first very, the very first message is super simple and it's straight to the point. Do you want a discount, you know? And here, let's go ahead and delete this very first um, objective that it gives you there, and go ahead and click on uh, quick reply. So when you're on quick, re quick reply, you can go ahead and send, have the message go, go to a third tier, so they, they opt in here. This is the messaging step. And uh, once they click on, sure I do, actually let's delete this one. Once they actually click on, um, there we go. So once they actually click on this, what, the met, what this is actually gonna say is perfect. It's gonna say perfect. Here is your coupon code. And you can use a group coupon code if you like. So I'll just put group coupon. I cannot spell today. So I'll go ahead and hit group coupon and 
uh, you'll go ahead and create this in Amazon Seller Central and make sure you do set it up to uh, have the option where only one customer can redeem it per uh, or only one customer can use it and that's it so multiple so the same customer can order your product multiple times so go ahead and make sure you set that objective inside Seller Central when you create the coupon code and you'll put the the code there and then the last part of the message I like to also throw in a little emoji here just to make it a little more fun um, so we'll do that and then here you can put um, hurry offer expires I don't know let's go ahead and put 24 hours get that sense of urgency there let's do clock this one works pretty good this one works pretty well uh, where there we go time is running out <laughs> so here you can actually put um, you know redeem on Amazon and I like to put emojis everywhere because I don't know emojis just make everything fun and then here you can go ahead and easily put a super URL so there are several tools you can use to create a super URL so for the sake of this training I'm just gonna put amazon.com but don't forget this is actually going to be your um, super URL that way you can rank for the keywords you want um, quickly so this is where that's gonna go and there's some pretty cool things you can do also if you wanted to run a review campaign you can go ahead and create that sequence here under automations and go ahead and tag this flow um, here Oops. Go ahead and tag this flow here with additional action. So for everyone who clicks on redeem on Amazon, they'll automatically be subscribed to your sequence. And on that sequence, you can go ahead and start setting up follow-up, uh, cross promotions, engaging with them to get you, I mean, to get them to leave you reviews. There's a whole lot of things you can do um, with that. So for the sake of this training, again, super simple, uh, JSON ad, and you'll put your super URL right there. And so, on the last part of this message here, we also have to um, name it. So here we're going to put, um, you know, yes, I do. Let's go and do a little thumbs up there. Boom. And then you can also add your tags here. And tags are good to keep track of. You know, if, let's say you have five different products. You'll go ahead and want to add um, your tags there. So if this is for product one, you'll put product You'll put product tag name. So this will be the name of your product. That way you can keep track of your list and segment all your list. And um, this will allow you to easily cross pollinate between your products and um, keep everything organized inside Manning Chat itself. So then you'll just click add new tag and you can hit done there. And one thing you'll also want to keep in mind is you, you want to give customers two options when they're looking to when they're engaging with you on the many chat funnel give them two options it works better um, it might sound you know contrary to have you know the whole purpose of this flow is to get customers in your funnel to redeem your offer coupon and go to Amazon so it sounds kind of contrary to put the option where it says uh, no but you always want to give uh, customers the option to say no because they're more likely to say yes as ironic as that may sound because they have those two options um, and I'm going to show you exactly how right now you, you can follow up with the people that say no just to give them one last nudge uh, before you you know before you let them be really so when they say no you'll go ahead and send message so let's go ahead and create that message and you'll just say something again short and sweet that's the purpose of this uh, training keep it short and sweet to say no worries thank you showing interest anyway and then I'll usually put a little uh, delay here you can do a delay of let's do eight seconds and then we'll go ahead and add another message here if you do change your mind here is a coupon code good for 
percent off. It does expire in 24 hours. So just a friendly reminder. I cannot spell for the life of me today. There we go. Cool. So as you can see here, even if they say no, you're still touching them. Uh, you'll first, the first message you can say is like, look, don't worry about it. We understand, you know, you're super busy. Um, and then we usually put this here uh, because it makes it look like you're talking to them live. So if you can type, so it'll show those little dots at the bottom, like, doo -doo, like if you're typing out, so this is just, again, a friendly little nudge. Even if they say no, you're still going to put them in your funnel to potentially redeem your offer on Amazon. So they say no, you respect it at the top, but here's the friendly nudge at the bottom. If you do change your mind, here's the coupon code, good for 50% off. Um, it does expire in 24 hours, so just a friendly reminder. Um, you know, you can also add this. Have a wonderful day. Boom, done, super simple. And then here again, you're gonna put redeem on Amazon and it's gonna open website and then your super URL will go here, but I'm gonna put amazon.com. It doesn't even have to be a super URL. You can even use, you know, like an add to cart. Uh, I mean, a cartless URL. There, there's quite a few, a canonical, um, whatever one you wanna use, it doesn't have to be limited to a super URL. So. You'll go ahead and hit done there. And also, um, again, if you wanted to subscribe them to the sequence, you'll create that sequence for reviews, um, cross-promoting, upselling, et cetera, et cetera. You can do all of that in automations. Um, and you'll just subscribe them here. Subscribe to sequence, just like you did on the first message where they said yes. And that's basically it. Another tag you'll also want to add, I forgot to mention real quick, is in addition and additionally to subscribing them to the sequence, you're going to also want to add the tag that you did in the first message. So in this tag, um, just so that way you know whether they say yes or no, it's still the exact same product. Go ahead and make sure the tag um, says, you know, product tag name. So we're going to go ahead and add that and also subscribe them to the sequence there. And that's basically how it goes. So once you're all done with that, if this is a little confusing to look at it this way, go ahead and go to the flow builder and it breaks it down a little a little neater for you to see all of the uh, the flows. So as you can see here, nothing too complicated. It's just a, a brief introduction here. Again, you'll want to put an image right there. Image really helps your message pop and it creates an emotional trigger in, in uh, a customer to, for them to more to persuade them to click yes. If they can um, trigger an emotional point, you know, usually you can have someone demoing your product. Um, even short videos work really well. We've experimented with this as well. And if the video is, you know, under a minute, you can even put the video there. And, um, you know, you can also get an emotional response, an emotional reaction from the customer if you have an image or a video there. Therefore, they'll, they'll um, more likely want to click yes. They're tagged here. And then boom, you know, perfect. Here's your coupon code, um, redeem on Amazon. So there's no landing page. There's no email opt in. There's none of that. It's literally, you just create the message as a JSON ad. You go to Facebook, you make the creative, write the copy, you know, you got to find your audience, obviously, but you put it in front of them. Super simple. And we found that most often, uh, more, more times than not, simplicity works way better. Um, you know, depending on your objective compared to, you know, having them go to a landing page to go through some long copy, then put your email, then take them, then put them to, then it'll send them to, uh, Amazon. There's just too much friction in that type of funnel. And, um, that's why we really at Zonrush, we really strive on making, you know, we have some pretty incredible funnels actually don't mean to go off topic too, too much, but our funnels are in crazy. I mean, these funnels are tip top. Um, you know, they're hundred percent unique. We have four people constantly, you know, making new funnels and optimizing. So we found just from launching hundreds of products at this point that, you know, simplicity often works best. And then from there, you know, touch pointing, uh, multiple, having multiple touch points inside the funnel 
So creating sequences, reminders, upsells works incredibly well, especially um, one thing we're really good at. One thing we're really good at is, you know, if you're a seller and you're launching multiple products and you use Zonrush, our, the way our funnels are set up is we literally will be able to help you get the frequently bought together um, feature for your products just because, you know, if we're sending the same customers to your to multiple offers that you have and they're redeeming them at the exact same time through our timed uh, funnels, then you're more likely going to get that frequently bought together, which is absolutely perfect if you have uh, complementary products products. So I didn't mean to digress too much from this training. I just wanted to leave that out there. We have some pretty crazy funnels. We have some crazy data that makes, you know, all of this super easy. And, you know, you don't have to worry about the monthly fees for um, services, you know, email software fees, landing page fees, none of that. We take care of all that for you. We do the, we do the hard work. We bring you the traffic and you make the sale. So again, so for the purpose of this training though, I just wanted to show you if you, you know, wanted to test the waters a little bit, um, you can go ahead and do that. This is how you make the JSON ad on ManyChat. And then from there, once you're on Facebook, you'll go ahead and copy this code. So we'll hit publish here. Boom. So your tool is published. You know, this is your test launch. And so once you're actually setting up the campaign on Facebook, you'll use the messaging, you'll use the messaging objective. Go ahead and click on setup. Right? So you do your targeting, you make your ad, uh, all that good stuff and you, you'll go ahead and copy to clipboard and then towards the end of your Facebook ad, um, at the very end, it's gonna tell you, okay, upload your JSON ad. Uh, that's where you copy this and you'll go ahead and paste it inside Facebook. And that's basically it, you're done. Um, you know, and then you'll let your ad run and see how the traffic goes and look at what your numbers are and if you're making sales and it's profitable, you know, rinse, repeat an infinite amount of times for all your different products. So I just wanted to quickly show you uh, real quick how to do this yourself. If you want more content like this and you want more of the cutting edge marketing sh strategies, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and turn on your notification bells. So that way you'll never miss out uh, on any of the new trainings I have. And again, if you guys want more information about Zonrush, again, this is the completely 100% done for you uh, Amazon product launch service using chatbots. As far as I'm, as far as I know, we're the only ones who actually offer this service. And you know, our team is dedicated. We have great customer service, and we deliver plenty, plenty, plenty of results for our, our clients. So uh, there should be a link in the in the description to our website. You can check it out. And um, yeah, hope you guys are crushing it on Amazon. And we'll see you on the next training.